The remains of Korean independence activists who fought abroad to liberate the nation from Japan's imperial rule were returned home today. Prime Minister Lee Nagin welcomed them and stressed Seoul and Pyongyang should work together towards creating one nation. Cha Sang-mi has more from the ceremony held at Incheon International Airport. South Korean Prime Minister Lee Nagin went to Incheon International Airport on Thursday to receive the remains of two Korean independence fighters who led movements abroad against Japanese colonial rule. In a ceremony at the airport, the prime minister expressed gratitude and respect for those who sacrificed their lives for Korea's liberation. He said the government will continue to cherish and follow what those patriots fought for. Both Koreas should start with what they can do together. The independence fighters certainly did not dream of a nation divided. We should take each step forward to build a nation that's independent and intact. The prime minister said the government will do its best to make the day come sooner when the Korean peninsula achieves lasting peace and mutual prosperity. He added that the two Koreas promised at the Pyongyang summit to celebrate the 100th anniversary next year of the March 1st movement, a landmark act of resistance of Japan's colonial rule in the first half of the last century. The Ministry of Patriots and Veterans Affairs said the remains returned on Thursday were those of independence fighters Bin Chun-gi and Kim san -hae. Min, who died May this year, was born in Cheongsong, Gyeongsangbuk-do province, but lived almost his whole life in Japan, where he was part of independence demonstrations in Osaka. He was arrested in 1942 and was imprisoned for three years. Kim was born in Puryong, Hamgyeongbuk-do province, now part of North Korea. He was captured in Yanji, China, by the Japanese for his resistance activities and spent two years in prison. Almost 50 years ago, when Kim was 70, he died and was buried in China. The PM said the remains of 136 fighters have been returned so far, but there are still nearly 400 that haven't been brought back, and he pledged to do his utmost for their return. Cha Sang-mi, Arirang News.